Hello and welcome to week three of Jake's Views and Review for the 2020 General Legislative Session. I am Senator Jake Andre coming to you from the Utah State Capitol Complex. This week we've got uh, about four bills I'd like to share with you. Uh, one bill, my Senate Bill 92, which is the statewide comprehensive rail plan. This, this bill passed off of the second reading calendar in the Senate unanimously. Uh, it's now in the third reading calendar, and we should probably hear it sometime this morning. So um, look forward to that one passing through. One of the bills that I think is getting a lot of particular attention is Senate Bill 102. This is Senator Deidre Henderson's uh, bigamy amendments bill. A lot of people think that this is just a decriminalization of polygamy. Uh, the reality is, though, it is a lessening of the crime mainly because one of the aspects that law enforcement is doing is they're using polygamy, bigamy, as a means of getting around these citizens' due process rights and protections against illegal searches and seizures. I supported the bill. In fact, the entire Senate voted unanimously for this bill off the second reading calendar because what we're trying to do is we're trying to decrease the secrecy within this community and actually make sure that we're not uh, unintentionally giving law enforcement uh, a way to get around due process rights. So look for the bill. It's going to be on third reading calendar today in the Senate. Uh, additionally, two other bills. I have Senate Bill 69, which is my tax credit for educator expenses. This could give each teacher up to $500 tax credit uh, for out-of-pocket expenses for supplies that they purchase in their class. You may be surprised that most teachers are spending anywhere from three to $600 a year for out-of-pocket expenses, and they're only getting reimbursed about $100 to $150 for the year. That's not good in my mind. So this is a way for us to put money directly into the teacher's pockets, which I favor greatly. Uh, the last bill I wanted to talk about, because I've gotten quite a few emails and phone calls on, is Senate Bill 62. This is the reauthorization of administrative rules. I am the chair of the Administrative Rules Review Committee, and what this committee does is this goes each year and looks at all the rules that the executive branch puts together. If we don't see that there are any problems with those administrative rules, we go ahead and approve them under this reauthorization bill. However, if there is a rule that goes beyond legislative intent or enacts policy on the executive side, which isn't their prerogative, it's left for the legislature, we can go in and repeal it. So that's what this bill does. Uh, this year we are only looking currently at just reauthorizing all the rules that, uh, that, re that we reviewed. Um, but there are two rules that we're looking at repealing. So once this bill gets over to the, to the House, we actually may modify the bill to repeal two rules that the executive branch has come up with that uh, I think went too far. So this is the way that we do our proper checks and balances. So um, with this video, there's going to be a link to this week's survey. I encourage you to jump on and let me know what your thoughts are on some of those issues. As ever, if you'd like to contact me, you can reach out to me on my email at jandrig at le.utah.gov. You can always give me a phone call or shoot me a text at 801-901-3580. You can follow me on uh, Twitter at political underscore Jake, or you can reach out to me on Facebook at Jake for Utah. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you. This is Senator Jake Andre coming to you from the Utah State Capitol Complex saying catch you next time.